Howdy folks, welcome back to Empyreon Academy. Today we're going to look at how to move your ships and bases from an old game into a new game. And so the first thing we need to do is actually create a new game. And so we're going to do that. We're going to create a new game. We're going to call it Destination because we're going to use Source and Destination for our names. So we'll create that. Now once you're in your new game, if you already have a blueprint of what you want to bring into your game, you can just go in to your blueprint factory. And what you can do is in the console, you can type SBP, as in spawn blueprint, and it will allow you to spawn that blueprint right away. And you can actually just go into your blueprint factory and click spawn, and you can put it wherever you want. However, if you want to keep, if you want to keep your inventory, that's in your cargo boxes if you have an old established base and you have a whole bunch of stuff that you want to keep then you're going to need to do it a little bit different way and so what you need to do is you need to go into your console and you type item menu and this will allow you to bring up the creative menu with H and then you can place a starter base here and so we're going to figure out where we want to put it. It does not need to be exact. You can move it around after you've placed it. So just put it in the approximate area that you want to put your base. And then you're going to do a DI here. And so you're going to find an ID number for this base. And so you're going to write that down for your destination. Now you're going to go back out of your game and you're going to resume your source game which is your old game from six point whatever now in your source game as you see here this is our old game where we built our big base that we want to keep and we want to bring into our new game and so what you want to do is if you don't have the DI window up already you want to bring that up and again you're going to point at the object that you want to bring over in this case it is ID number 111 and this up here this text is the name here so if you see here whatever the name is there and you can use that to verify and so what you want to do is you want to take that number and you're going to go into Windows Explorer and here in Windows Explorer you're going to go into your source save game and into the shares folder and you're going to find the thing that says player is whether it's base or CV so it would be CV player 111 or HV player 111 whatever type it is and you're gonna find the folder for that now you can verify that you have the right one if you look at here it says transfer this one in this that's the name that you've set for it and so you don't actually need this text file what you do need is this here the BA player and so this folder has four area files in it. You're going to take these four area files, you're going to copy them, and then you're going to go back to games into your destination folder in the same location, shared. And if you recall, we had number 124 for our base. Now it's easier to find in here because there's only one thing. In your old game, there's going to be a ton of those, so you do need to make sure you know which one you have. Now we're going to paste these area files that we copied from the source over the destination and overwrite them and now that's going to be in the new game so we're going to go back into Imperion and we're going to resume our destination game and as you see here the starter block has now been replaced with the new base and so if you're stuck under here you can actually open the console and go into god mode which is GM or type out god mode and that will allow you to go through so you can get out because you might be stuck underneath it and so now you have your base in your new game and if you had turrets with settings on the turrets that gets saved you have any cargo boxes or fridges or all that stuff that gets saved the stuff that you do lose is the oxygen and fuel and signal logic and so again you can use the item menu to get your fuel back and your oxygen so if you were missing oxygen and you need that you know if you're if you were poor or whatever and you need oxygen or fuel you can get any of that stuff back that you need and the other thing you can do in the item menu is you can pull out this it's called a debug drill and so if your base happens to be underneath like the terrain is obviously not going to be exactly the same as where you left it and so if you do need to drill out some terrain you can use this debug drill and it's a lot faster we'll show you here 
it is a lot faster than the regular drill and so it can really dig out terrain quickly and it has the fill and flattening and all that stuff as well on it and the other thing you can do the other thing you can do is if you have your ID number here 124 you can use the set position and set rotation and so we'll show you this we'll switch our set rotation to zero 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 and whoops we need to also put in 124 which is our number our ID number there we go and so this will align it along the north south east west axis so your base is going to be square with your your compass up here so you can actually easily move it so now you want to move the X is going to be east west and the Y is going to be up down and the Z is going to be north south so what you can do is you can do set position and then your number of your base so it's 124 here and then you can do X Y or Z plus or minus some number so you can go X plus 10 and it will move it as you see there it will move it east by 10 meters and so you can do X minus 20 and it will move it west 20 meters and then you can do Y um, plus 20 do plus 20 there you go and you can move it upward now you can also get the coordinates if you want to do absolute coordinates they show up up here when you're pointing at it and so just be careful to not miss those little minus signs because they are very easy very easy to miss those little negative signs and all of a sudden your base disappears because you moved it uh, to positive 304 instead of negative 304 which is going to be like you know on the other side of the planet or that kind of thing so you do want to be careful <laughs> about that but yes you can move relative or absolute and with the x y or z axis at at any in any little increments that you want and so we can do y minus 10 and you can move it until you get it exactly where you want it close to the ground and as you notice the structural integrity does not get recalculated while this is happening so you don't have to worry about your base crashing as you're doing that and stuff but you do want to make sure it is set up with the terrain by the time you actually start building on it or changing blocks on it because then it will start recalculating and you can run into problems now the other thing you can do is you can copy player files and so we'll go over here to the source and players and this is just your blueprint factory so you don't need that but unless you had a bunch of stuff in your blueprint factory also but basically you can just copy this entire players folder over the top of your destination player folder and if you copy all the contents into there then you will get all of your levels and all of that stuff back your levels and your everything that you've unlocked and your inventory and all of those things one other side note is that you can actually drop a starter block of one type like so let's say we drop a, a hover vessel starter here and you can replace the files into the same folder you can replace the base files the area files into the folder for this hover vessel and the blocks will actually be transferred over into a hover vessel as you see in this little screenshot here so what happens is it does copy over the block types but you do have illegal block types for example on this base you have stuff like the generators that don't fit on a hovercraft the fuel tanks the hangar bay doors and the elevators for example if you had turrets on here and stuff those would also cause problems when you try to get into the hovercraft and use it as a hovercraft but you can do that in order to copy a structure from one type to another so it's a nice little extra bonus tip for you one other tip is if you need to go back to alpha 6 in order to load your old save if you're having problems with that what you can do is in steam click right click on Imperion and select properties go to your betas tab and over here you select the beta that you want to opt into you click on the alpha 6 option and it will download that and install it so that you can load up the old version 
All right, that's gonna do it for this video, and I hope I got all the information for you that you needed in order to transfer your stuff into your new games from an old game. And if you have any other questions, if I missed anything, or if it's changed since this video was created, then please let me know in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer and help out. And thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Later.